Welcome to Unrestrained, the podcast series from CPI. Here you can enjoy conversations where professionals on all sides of crisis and behavior management relax and open up about themselves, their workplace, and their clients. You'll get the latest tips and trends from the best in the business, so tune in often to integrate their experiences with your own. Well, greetings and welcome to Unrestrained, the CPI podcast series. This is your host, Terry Vitone, and today I'm joined by Michelle Dickerson. Hello and welcome, Michelle. Thank you. You're welcome. Glad to be here. Let me tell you a little bit about our guest today. Michelle Dickerson is the Vice President of Patient Care Services and the Chief Nurse Executive for Bon Secours Richmond Community Hospital and Bon Secours Virginia Outpatient Infusion Services. She received her associate's degree in applied science in nursing from J. Sargent Reynolds in 2004, eventually earning her bachelor's degree in nursing from University of Phoenix in 2007 and a master's degree in nursing from the University of Phoenix in 2010. A firm believer of lifelong learning, Michelle most recently was accepted into the doctoral of nursing practice program at Liberty University. In addition to her professional role, Michelle plays a significant role in community service and annual fundraising activities for the organization. She currently serves as the chair for the Nurses for Good Org campaign, which is the focus of our interview today. Michelle has led other organizational fundraising activities such as United Way and Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation, that's JDRF rather. She also serves on the board of directors for Junior Achievement of Central Virginia, Shell is a native of Richmond, Virginia, and currently resides in the Hanover County District. So then, Michelle, let's begin. Could you talk, first of all, about the history behind Nurses for Good, and maybe explain the concept of a Nurses Giving Circle for our listeners? Sure. Nurses for Good evolved from what seemed a simple idea from a group of Bon Secours Virginia nurses that wanted to know if they could create a foundation fund that would they would donate their monies to allocate funds for nursing grants within the health system. Their idea sparked the interest, and the Bon Secours Foundation worked to create a program where nurses gave money towards a fund that would be specifically used for a nursing grant. For Nurses by Nurses was the concept behind this idea, and from it came Nurses for Good. This is the second year of the Nurses for Good Giving Circle. It gives nurses a unique opportunity to focus on a project that is chosen and funded by Bon Secours Virginia Nurses, and it inspires innovative thinking of the nurses within our health system. I see. Did you, did you find as this started to gain momentum that a lot of nurses got excited about it as it, as it started to get talked about? Oh, absolutely. It was, it was nothing more exciting about them owning their practice and driving the care that they provide to their patients at the bedside. Mm-hmm. I bet it, that that bet it encouraged a lot of dialogue as well, just to, to for this for nurses for good to come together. Certainly. All right. And how about now? What's your, your role specifically for nurses for good? So currently, I serve as the chief nurse executive and vice president of patient care services at Richmond Community Hospital and the chair for nurses for good. My position as the chair for nurses for good affords me the privilege to be intimately involved in the promotion of this program, along with the recruitment of Bonds Corp Virginia nurses. It has given me the great opportunity to meet many of our world-class nurses within our health system, and to see the great work that they already do, but also how strong and innovative they can be when coming together. You must have met quite a spectrum of people as uh, of nurses as you've gone through your role as chair. Uh, Absolutely. We have uh, well over thousands of nurses throughout Bon Secours, Virginia. Mm -hmm. So next thing, Michelle, I wanted to ask is about how, who can join the Giving Circle? I know that... You have to be a Bon Secours nurse. Mm -hmm. Um, That is the whole purpose of the Nurses Giving Circle. It Mm -hmm. is, again, for nurses, by nurses, and about nurses. Mm -hmm. What makes the Nurses for Good program such a powerful program, again, is because it's owned by our nurses. That being said, it is possible for a Bon Secours nurse to be sponsored by an employee or a physician. We've had quite a large number of nurses sponsored by executives and physicians within the organization who see the value in this program and want it to be involved. I see. So uh, a nurse can be sponsored in and, uh, and can, someone can help them uh, achieve the $100 entry fee that they need to join the circle. Does, yes. it, does it stop at 1000 or or... Um... Do you, is that a cap, or could there could more people join if if they wanted to, or is for right now is it a thousand, and that's kind of the? No, as many people can join as we can get mm-hmm. um, their engagement and involvement. Great. 
Now, so, so you have these thousand nurses together. Now, how do they go about selecting and submitting a transformative project for consideration by Nurses for Good? The Nurses for Good established a grants committee, and that is made up of nurses from all over the Virginia market. The committee reviews all grant proposals that are submitted, and any nurse within the Bonds Corps Virginia Health System can submit a grant proposal to the Nurses for Good grant committee. The application is on the Nurses for Good website and has step-by-step -step instructions on how to fill out each section. Some of our nurses have great inspirational ideas but have never written a grant proposal before, so we wanted to give them the guidance in order to help them get started. Additionally, if they are still having trouble getting their ideas out on paper, mm -hmm. we offer grant writing workshops and one-to-one -one mentoring to help guide them through the writing process. Oh, that's excellent. And do a lot of nurses avail themselves of that help? Yes, they do. Yes, you, they do. All right. And, and now there are also, in Nurses for Good, there are, are three uh, focus areas identified about ideas for projects. Uh, could you talk about those focus areas and why these ideas for projects have to fit into one of them? Sure. Well, there, there are three categories that were chosen by the Nurses for Good Grants Committee and the Steering Committee in order to assure that the grant proposal submitted fit into the Bonds Corps Virginia's strategic quality plan mission, vision, and values. Those three categories are workplace, lifelong learning, and community health. Grant proposals submitted to the workplace category are focused on enhancing the environment that Bonta Corps nurses practice and care for their patients. Lifelong learning focuses on empowering the Bonta Corps nurses to grow personally and professionally. And community health is Bonta Corps nurses promoting health and wholeness for our community. Now, with that, there are focus areas, as you mentioned. Mm -hmm. The focus area fit, or any grant submitted to the Nurses for Good Grants Committee must fit into the three focus areas mentioned before, lifelong learning, workplace, and community health. Grant Committee looks at how closely the grant meets the criteria for these focus areas. I see. And so then, uh, so if someone's got an idea uh, that fits in a focus area, they submit a grant review. Is that that's accurate? That is accurate. And, and, and I've seen one of these, and they, they have uh, selection criteria, and there's a number of them. Uh, uh, there's, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I believe there's eight of them. Could we talk about briefly about those and these, how these grant reviews have to fit these selection criteria? I think that'd be of interest to our listeners. Sure. So okay. in order for them to fit in the focus areas, mm -hmm. they need to serve magnet-related goals. And, mm -hmm. and with that, that means many of our Bonta Corps hospitals are already certified as magnet facilities mm -hmm. or are working toward magnet status. So it is understood by the committee that a grant that helps our hospitals either retain magnet status or work toward magnet status would align with the Bonta Corps strategic quality plan. We want innovative ways to meet new needs. Nurses for Good Giving Circle and Grants process enables nurses to submit proposals on projects that could transform our Bonds Corps Virginia nursing practice. It is hoped that through the creation of a nurse-led giving circle, unique issues and processes that affect nurses across any health system would be transformed through the power of nurses within one system working together towards a common goal. So we have the scope, meaning we want this to be across the system. The Nurses for Good is a Bonds Court Virginia giving circle, and grants submitted should address a common issue or concern that would benefit nurses across Virginia, not just at a facility level. I see. The scope or check reality, which is a question that is designed to have nurses to begin thinking realistically about their project. Nurses for Good is 1,000 nurses giving $100 each to create a $100,000 transformational grant. So any of the grants that are submitted should be implemented with a budget not to exceed that $100,000. I see. And proven method, uh, best method? So that's just asking, will the project or idea submitted in the grant be able to be implemented using industry-wide best practices? Mm -hmm. And will it enhance and improve the Bonta Corps Virginia nursing? And it needs to have nurse appeal. Okay, you, you have that. That's an interesting uh, concept, nurse appeal. That's right. Bonds Corps nurses represent a wide array of specialties and experiences throughout the system. Those chosen must be able to be implemented across Bonds Corps Virginia facilities, and it should also have outcomes that will affect many nurses 
or as many nurses as possible in Bonds Court, Virginia. The project needs to have a universal appeal, and it needs to make a difference. Uh-huh. Once it's implemented, will the grant transform nursing across Bonds Court, Virginia? And that is the final criteria, is it not, the, is to make a difference, correct? That is it, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Now, uh, th- thank you. That's uh, the great overview of the selection criteria. Now, so a nurse understands these selection criteria, and then say that uh, he or she says, well, you know, I want an idea for inspiration, and I know you've got something on your site called Ideas for Inspiration. Could you talk about those? Sure. So the Ideas for Inspiration are available to the nurses on the Nurses for Good website, and the whole intention behind that is to spark ideas for nurses who wish to submit a grant proposal but are unsure what they want to write about. Since Nurses for Good is a Bonds Corps Virginia initiative, the ideas are designed to help nurses think beyond their facility mm-hmm. to develop an idea that can be implemented across the system and benefit as many nurses in Bonds Corps Virginia as possible. I see. So something, for instance, from lifelong learning would clearly be appropriate then because it would meet all those criteria. Yes, it would. I see. And so, uh, so you, so how many, so wh- who were the finalists for consideration this year? And, and may I ask how many grants that you, that you got? Well, we're currently Proposals, in this, rather. excuse me. We are currently in the grant writing window now as we speak. Uh, All proposals for 2015 must be submitted by May 15th for consideration. I see. And at that time, the grant selection process will begin. All right. How about for last year? Could you talk about some of the former winners and the outcomes to date? I mean, I think you guys have been at this like you've had it one year prior to 2015. Is that correct? That is correct. This is our second year Mm -hmm. in the Nurses for Good Giving Circle, and the first grants were awarded in 2014. Mm -hmm. We were able to award two grants because Bonds Corps Virginia Health System saw the engagement and excitement that this program sparked and committed to matching the $100,000 that the Nurses for Good members raised. The first awardee was the Bonds Corps Virginia Certification University. This program provides study materials and educational opportunities for nurses to obtain national certifications, as well as prepayment options for first-time applicants to ease the financial burden. The second, yours truly, was the awardee for the Bonds Corps Virginia Non-Crisis Intervention Training Program. Bonds Corps Virginia and non-crisis intervention training program is designed to expand and enhance CPI training in hospitals within Bonds Corps Virginia system. The goals of the program are to reduce the risk of injury to staff, patients, and visitors, mm-hmm. improve staff retention, minimize organizational exposure to liability related to incidences, and expand de-escalation training to include additional acute outpatient home health and caravan personnel. Bonds Corps Virginia currently has nine trainers, two in Hampton Roads Market and one in Richmond. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, two in Hampton Roads Market and seven in Richmond. With the implementation of this program, it is hoped that there will be a total of 26 trainers across Virginia, with at least one trainer in each facility. The first train the trainer session actually occurred this past week. Following the first training, we plan to offer two certification classes per facility per month and one recertification class per month per facility in 2015. In 2016, we will increase recertification classes to two per facility per month. There will be an expanded focus in departments trained to include labor and delivery, pediatrics, intensive care units, medical surgical units, home health, and the Bonds Corps Virginia Caravan with a continued focus, of course, on behavioral health, emergency department, and security. Mm -hmm. By expanding the focus on these departments receiving training, it is hoped that there will be a decrease in disruptive, violent patients requiring a code to be called and employee injuries related to escalating patient behaviors. We also hope to see an improvement on national surveys with regard to workplace safety issues. So you guys are doing this comprehensive across departments, it sounds like, uh, at the training. It's not that you're targeting ED, for instance, and saying, well, this is the most critical. You're really offering this uh, across the scope of Bon Secours. That's correct. The nurses have recognized the need for this training. Mm-hmm. And it is, again, for nurses by nurses. It's their idea and their mm-hmm. grant proposal to get this training in place. Now, of the university and the CPI, those were two of the proposals. How many other, I'm, I'm sure they were all fabulous, how many were there the first time around? 
There were 33 total Mm -hmm. grant proposals submitted for the Nurses for Good Mm -hmm. program. Wow, I wonder how many you'll get this year. It'll be interesting to see. Do you have an idea? I don't have an idea yet, but I sure (laughs) hope we talk this year. Uh, Yes, all right. Well, um, and uh, what is... Bon Secours done in the past with a behavior management training. I mean, have you guys gone after that before? Has it been eternal, internal, rather, excuse me, or have you, have you brought in other behavior management uh, training in the past? Bon Secours Virginia offers nonviolent crisis intervention training currently, mm-hmm. but the training, again, has been focused on departments that were thought to have a higher risk for escalating situations, such as the emergency department or behavioral health. Mm-hmm. Again, nurses in other departments felt that because these incidents were not frequent on their units, but they did still occur, Mm -hmm. that they were not prepared or equipped to handle these situations appropriately. They felt strongly that they also could benefit from this training, and as such, 1,000 members strong voted for this proposal to be the second 2014 Nurses for Grant winner. I see. That kind of answers the, the why now question. It's just because so many of these nurses who were so committed to uh, participate and to donate to Nurses for Good said this meets one of our most pressing needs. Wow, that's, uh, Absolutely. That's tremendous. Well, uh, and then how do you plan to, I'm sure you as, as uh, you know, in your role as a, as a chief nurse executive, you're going to be looking at uh, follow-up on this, I, and, uh, and uh, we certainly wish you great success with it. Um, are, and we're very excited to be partnering with Crisis Prevention Institute um, on this initiative and looking forward to achieving our targeted goals through our close collaboration. Excellent, excellent. Uh, is there, are there any other thoughts you'd like to share today about, uh, about Nurses for Good, Bon Secours, or uh, Nonviolent Crisis Intervention? Well, as I mentioned before, certainly anybody can sponsor a nurse, and you don't have to be a Bon Secours employee, so you are right. welcome to... Any donations online at bsbaf.org mm-hmm. backslash Nurses for Good. And that will bring people to a page where they can learn and kind of get a recap of the things that we've talked about today. Is that correct? That is correct. Excellent, excellent. And, uh, it, you know, if I might, uh, uh, Michelle, this is certainly up to you. If you want to field the question, uh, great. If not, we could certainly edit it out. But if you wanted to take as a last question, maybe to talk about who's been a main inspiration in your career and maybe just give a bit of a kudo to them. Wow, how do I answer that question? There have been so, so many people who have been instrumental mm-hmm. personally and professionally in my career. Um, I definitely want to thank uh, Jill Kennedy and Peter Bernard, Sister Anne Marie Mack, for fully supporting this initiative and also the foundation. We could not make this come to fruition without the Bon Secours um, Foundation. So I'm, I'm so thankful for their help and their guidance and their uh, just their overall support. Oh, excellent, excellent. Well, thank you. Uh, well, my guest today has been uh, Michelle Dickerson. She is the chair, co-chair of Nurses for Good at Bon Secours, Virginia. She's also the chief nurse executive there. Thank you so much for joining us today, Michelle. Thank you, Terry. You're welcome. Thank you for joining us today on Unrestrained. Please join us again next month when our guest will be the president of the Crisis Prevention Institute, Judith Schubert. Until then, this is your host, Terry Vatone, hoping your intention is prevention.